everybody. I'm Jill. I'm the new manager at Thriving in Place. And since we can't be together yet in person, I wanted to just make a little quick video to introduce myself, say hello, and give you a little background on me and a little bit about what I'm hoping to see for Thriving in Place in the future. I moved to Florida in 1987 when I was 12 years old from New Jersey with my parents. I lived in Winter Springs and went to Oviedo High School where I graduated. And then skipping ahead a few years in 1998, I graduated from the Florida Hospital College of Health Sciences as a registered nurse. It's now called Advent University. I worked as a nurse at the big hospital downtown, Florida Hospital Orlando. Um, I worked at an infectious disease doctor's office and I worked as a mother baby nurse at Florida Hospital, also the big hospital downtown. And then I met a guy that was here from Texas on vacation named Robert Couch. We were married in 2003 and I left Florida and moved to Texas. I worked as a research nurse in Texas. Um, I worked on a baby formula study for Mead Johnson, the makers of Infamil. And if you have free time and you're bored during the pandemic, you can even look at that article uh, that I was published in. Then I took a little break from working to start a family. My oldest is Mary Madison. She's 14. Rhett is my only boy and he is 11. And Macy's the baby. She's seven. They all go to the K-8. In 2015, Robert decided that he wanted to coach football um, full time. Uh, he was running an oil business in Texas, but the economy wasn't great for that at the time. We decided we wanted to move to Florida to get me back at home, and my folks still live in the area. They're in New Smyrna Beach, but we were trying to decide where we wanted to live. Robert had a football background, and he'd been volunteer coaching for a while, and so he Googled offensive line football coaches in Florida. And from the other room, he said to me, hey, babe, have you ever heard of a town called Celebration? I had definitely heard of Celebration. I loved Celebration. Having grown up here, I remember watching on the news as it was built. Uh, I remember the lottery when people were first getting their homes here. So I was really excited. So we found ourselves in 2015 in Celebration. We bought a house in North Village. Robert was volunteer coaching the offensive line at Celebration High School. The kids were at the K-8. I was running an embroidery business. This is some of the stuff that I made. My embroidery business was called Mommagrams. But just a short while into our Florida living, we had an exciting new career opportunity for Robert. And we moved to Ohio. Robert was the assistant offensive line coach for the Cincinnati Bengals from 2016 to 2019. We had a great time living up in Cincinnati and in Kentucky, but in January 2019, the Bengals decided to change their staff. Luckily, we had rented our home here in celebration of friends, and it was becoming available the same time we were moving back to town. So we were able to move right back into our old house. I've enjoyed meeting some of you at Coffee on the Corner and some of the holiday lunches and all the thriving activities I've been to so far have really been enjoyable. I've got some ideas for the future of Thriving in Place, some new activities and excursions and meetups, but with our ever-changing pandemic situation, we're going to be taking it one day at a time as things reopen. We don't have a date in mind yet for starting our program back to normal as safety will be a priority, so please bear with us. Also, I'll still be working as the office administrator at the foundation office until we can fill that position when things open back up. Becky and I are gonna to continue to work together, keeping in touch and handling Friday lunches and Tuesday treats. I definitely hope to have your input and feedback on what you'd like to see added or changed to Thriving in Place. Feel free to email me or give me a call. I look forward to being with all of you again in person, but until then, hang in there and keep on thriving in place.